Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing fine. Today I want to show you another new project. You might have seen the video about this Nixie timer slash clock that I'm designing. I had to update the PCBs and they are manufactured and on the way. I'm waiting for them. And while I was at it, I designed a clock with the IN17 Nixie tube and I think this is the small one the smallest one oops I'm sorry should put it on this hand here this is the smallest one that you can get that is available and this one has also actually a correct 5 the digit 5 is not upside down 2 it's a correct 5 and the PCB for it I have the things laying on my lap here because uh, my desk is on the other side and uh, this is the PCB for it and I will show you what it's all about after this this video is sponsored by PCBWay.com not only does PCBWay offer high quality PCB services, which include standard PCBs, they also offer advanced PCBs, flexible PCBs and PCB assembly. You can upload your Gerber files and select the options according to your needs, including SMD stencil and assembly services. On the top of the page you can make your selection. PCBWay also has CNC machining, sheet metal cutting and bending, 3D printing and injection molding services. You can choose from a vast variety of materials. You can upload your CAD file for an instant online quote, including the selection of your preferred material and surface finish. They also offer anodizing of aluminum parts in different colors and surface treatments. You can get sheet metal fabrication and laser cutting. 3D printing services and cover your injection molding needs. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for hobbyist and professional manufacturing as well. So since I do like clocks, I do like Nixie tubes and I do like to make them small as possible, I did create this PCB which is kind of has an odd shape with that cut out here and that cut out is actually to save a few millimeters on space so that the Nixie tube can go in like that and this one will be soldered directly to the PCB and as you have noticed by now uh, these PCBs are sponsored by PCBWay.com thank you very much and this one is based on the ESP TDGO Micro 32 so that's actually a smaller version smaller footprint of a ESP room or rover and um, it is as you can see about as big as my thumb and this will be an NTP clock so the ESP goes on here so you will once your network password and uh, network name is uh, programmed in you will never have to set this clock again like this clock like that clock and uh, the other ones are actually not network based so it is running on the ESP32 and it has this high voltage module that will be on the back of it and um, as I said in the beginning, it is using the IN17 Nixie tube. If there are any smaller tubes out there, numerical smaller tubes, 
Please do let me know because I'm always interested in getting them as small as possible for some strange reason. But in my last video I also made a bigger one. So this will be, I will call it probably finger clock because it is the size of a finger. I have actually small hands so it will be uh, even a smaller finger clock for other people. And as I said also it has a five uh, correct five digit. And um, it will, the PCB has dual on off button. Uh, it's actually the slide switch that I'm using on all my products that you can see here as well on my retro clock. But I made it so that I can mount it either producing from the PCB or within the PCB like on this here where the on off switch does not produce out but you can still easily turn on and off uh, on the PCB. Plus I did uh, add a touch input. So I am planning actually to put this into a power brick case. I found this and I really like that enclosure. So it will go in here. Everything fits in here. That's how I designed it. It does fit the Dixie tube obviously fits in there as well. Like so. And I even went as far as ordering uh, around glass to go inside. It has a small lip here. And I ordered a glass that will go in there. So it will, the Nixie will be protected on, from the outside. And it will go in here. And um, what I also did is add a touch sensor to it uh, on the PCB obviously not on the high voltage module so I can I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it because the anodized aluminum will probably be not uh, be able to recognize touch so I might and this one screws on the back so I might do it on the back or somewhere where you can touch it and turn it on and off or I'm not sure what I'm gonna exactly use the touch sensor for but I put it there anyways just to be prepared to have a to have a touch input that's my retro clock so anyway this is what I have in mind and as I said, the PCBs are finished, they are shipped, they are on their way, and actually they are uh, in France right now. I have them shipped with FedEx, and it's always nice to be able to follow up on your order and know where it is. So anyway, this will be just a simple clock, like this one over there. Where I think either the tube is failing or the high voltage is going down. Anyway, if you're interested, please let me know in the comments if you have any ideas to make something else out of this. Although with one digit you're pretty much limited to what you can do. And um, But this is what I have in mind. I can actually, because you will say now if you have it round, it's gonna roll all over the place. But I have my round clock over there, let me show you. And I just 3D printed a base for it so it doesn't roll away from your table. And I could do the same for this one. Or I could use an aluminum enclosure like this one. That's also a power brick. And in this one, it would obviously not roll away. I'm not sure yet if I will use this one. But right now, I have this in mind. As I said, I ordered glass. So it will look nicely finished up. 
and it will run on a CR123 battery. So that should give it a pretty decent lifetime and as I said I will have the touch. I'm thinking of having a touch and then have it run and then with a time out and if you want to see it again you just touch the clock and then see the time. I'm not sure yet the software the code is not done yet. Uh, I have done the as you see here the PCB for now. So this is it. I also want to thank my five patrons that are supporting me. Thank you very much and uh, please do subscribe to my channel, like it, maybe even share it and I would also appreciate if you use my Banggood affiliate links every little bit helps uh, as summer months sales are virtually non-existent I didn't have a single sale in the past three weeks and uh, it's getting tough out there and as you know through the crisis everything is increasing in price and um, anyway so if you do like it if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments and if you have any comments leave them in the comments yes leave them or write them below the video thanks for watching and take care everybody